the angels come with whatever they must say. Notice, they are not listening to reason. They are listening to argue. You, you, you follow me, sir? And when you encounter people like that, wherein they are not listening to your points, so that you and them can have a proper dialogue, and so that they can say, oh, you know, you make a good point. I hear you. No. But they are just waiting for you to finish. So they can repeat sometimes the rubbish that they're saying. Because you have a lot of people who church now becomes a lifestyle, a custom. So now they love church. They love the vibe that church come with. But as it relates to knowing God, knowing about God, having a relationship with God, that cut off, that stop. As a matter of fact, we act the part. But in reality, our hearts is not there. We don't pray anymore. We don't talk to God anymore. We don't try to have a relationship with him. There's no one and one anymore. He was in all points tempted even this. But what? But yet we don't we don't have to bow to sin. We don't have to bow to the flesh. Because at the end of the day, God is not calling us to stay as Sumitan. And God knows that Sumitan. He is calling us to obtain his rest. He is calling us to do whatever we can to obtain the rest. And obtaining his rest means we have to abide as he abide. Just as how he was tempted and tested. We don't have to yield to sin. We don't have to yield and live in sin. Paul said, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. We we don't have to do that because we are no more debtors to the flesh. Can I say to somebody tonight, you know, oh, your flesh no already. Oh God, somebody missed that. Somebody missed that. I said, your, 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 your flesh had dominion over you one time and every time when the flesh come to collect, you had to pay rent. But no, Jesus had ransomed you. Jesus had paid the cost. So when the flesh comes, I want to control you. I want to bribe you. I want to tempt you. I want to push you around. The Bible says we are no more debtors to the flesh. I don't have to drink anymore. I don't have to smoke anymore. I don't have to curse anymore. I don't have to lie anymore. I don't have to fornicate anymore because I am in the rest. The Holy Ghost has washed me. The Holy Ghost has cleanse me I am in Christ now a new creature somebody put your hands together for the Lord